So, what's going on guys, Cades here, welcome back to a brand new video. And today I have made a top 20 list of the most fun creative maps in Fortnite Creative. So yeah, whenever I was searching for the map codes and other stuff, from about 200 maps I found top 20 best ones. And that will be what I will show you in this video. So in this top 20 list you'll be able to see a bunch of escape rooms, maze runs, hide and seeks, parkour maps, death racing maps, as well as just racing maps in general, free for alls and much more. So every single type of creative maps will be in this video. And like per usual guys, stick till the end of this video because for every map I'll give you a code and a specific review. So you know which map is for what, so which one is for hide and seek, free for all or whatever ever. So I'll specifically tell you which ones are the biggest or if you like smallest ones, which are the hardest or the easiest parkour maps, maze runs, escape rooms and that type of thing. But with that said, let's get right into it. So take a look at the first map. It is a parkour escape room and a roller coaster. So basically you have a huge roller coaster and with a bunch of parkour and escape room elements. So whenever you get to the next level, you'll usually need to find the next exit and the next level so you can complete the map the fastest as possible. So again adding the escape room element with the parkour and the whole map itself is shaped as a roller coaster so you always know where to go and in my opinion from the design it looks 10 out of 10. Bunch of secret room passageways, bounce pads, jump pads, ice skating and everything else will be in this map. So going over to the second map, this one is a hide and seek in a football field. So this is a huge map in a huge football field. There are a bunch of secret ways, secret passageways, rooms and underground tunnels which you can go in and escape. Sadly this map is limited only to 4 people, so 2 seekers, 2 hiders. The time limit is about 5-10 to 10 minutes and then each of you can take a turn. And first my impressions of this map was that first of all it's one of the most unique ones because of the design itself and the football field itself was really big with a bunch of secret things and tips that you will find by yourself. Going over to the next map, this one in my opinion was one of my favorite ones from this list. So it is a 1v1 Super Smash Bros PvP arena. So first things first, each of you spawn in different locations and there are a bunch of chests laid on the ground and on the island itself. Each of you pick whatever you want and start fighting. Gravity settings in the server of course are changed so whenever you will jump you will see that you will not only go 1 to 2 blocks higher but about 7 to 8 so adding that Super Smash Bros effect. When I played against my friend I had really a lot of fun. Each of us could like throw each other off the ground, shoot each other, grapple and use a bunch of other stuff. Going over to the next map, oof, this one is a really huge town in which you can play up to 16 people free for all. So whenever you get spawn you already get a preset with full health and full shields and then a bunch of times on the ground there will be as well more shields and more health on whenever you get damaged and need some. Like I previously mentioned it's up to 16 people and the map itself is huge with about 20 to 30 rooms secret dungeons, passageways and a whole garden to fight in. No building is allowed so if you're into that type of thing then in my opinion this is the best map for that. So taking a look at the next map, this one is a maze escape room free for all. It's up to 4 people and whenever you take a look at the map itself you will see a bunch of like bots with a bunch of weapons and that type of thing so you always need to be look out for that. The main map's objective is to kill each other but be aware of the robots itself because they'll be most of the time firing at you. So what I usually try to do is set up the robots against my enemies, make it traps, whenever I was really low on health just go back to the maze, try to escape and ambush my friends. And on top of all that you'll get a bunch of bolted weapons so if you want to have some fun and play shadow pvp then this is the map for you. So taking a look at the next map, a huge youtuber has made this one and it's a car racing map. It's up to 3 people in 3 lines, each of you take a turn and drive in a huge maze run. Not only it's really huge and fast, but of course a lot of fun. In my opinion, the most fun maps are the racing ones, whenever I can race with friends. Because we can bump each other, we can go faster or slower. Whenever each of us die, we get respawned back again. So if you have ever played like a racing games, and especially in a really good map, then oof, this is definitely the map for you. Not only there are normal levels, but like you can boost around, bounce pad and that type of thing. Okay, so the next map is a hide and seek in a huge house building city. So basically the city itself is kind of small, but the house itself has about 30 to 40 secret rooms. So each of you hide and there's one seeker. The seeker itself gets a gun and his objective is to try to find you. Okay, on top of all that as well, I'll give you a secret tip. 
which you don't need to tell your friends. So it is that you can go on top of the building itself and redeploy is enabled. So whenever the seeker is coming up to you, you can just jump off the building and again be on the run. In my opinion, for the unique design, 10 out of 10. Okay, so going over to the next map, actually this one, my viewers have submitted through my lists. So if you are instead or if you are content creator, map creator or whatever yourself, then you can definitely in comment section post your codes as well and I'll check them out. If they're worth my time, I'll put them in the lists. But with that said, it's an extremely hard death run parkour map with a bunch of blocks, glass that you actually cannot see and kind of need to do a parkour on your luck. The map itself is a huge kingdom, about 20 to 30 levels. And of course, each of them is extremely difficult. So if you want a really hardcore parkour map, this is definitely the one for you. Okay, so going over to the next map, this map again, the same guy who made previous one has made it and submitted through my videos. But with that said, it's a bit more easier and not extreme death run. So if the previous one was too hard and you want something easier, but still not too easy, then this is definitely the one for you. Off the bat, it will seem like a parkour map in Unicorn, but still it has 10 to 15 levels. Each of them is really fun with a bunch of chaps, bounce pads you'll need to use as well, other items as grapplers and much more. Okay, so going over to the next one. In my opinion, this was my favorite from all of this. So I'm kind of into car racing maps and everything else. And this one, in my opinion, was best from all of them so the plan itself is that you are in a huge arena and each of you get a car and you need to bump and kill each other so your objective is to be the last man standing so there's a bunch of bounce pads jump pads and each of you need to survive whenever you fall you'll right away die so if you have like played like death racing games and that type of thing where you bump each other and the strongest and the smartest survives then this is definitely the best map for that so if you need even bigger perspective then it's basically like a car free for all Okay, so going over to the next one, this is a 1v1 Dust 2 map from CSGO. If you have played CSGO, so Counter-Strike, Global Offensive or whatever, this is one of the most or aka the best popular map in that game. And the map creator has 100% recreated the map itself. So if you're a huge fan of CSGO and want nostalgia or something else and play in a 1v1 Dust 2 map with a bunch of chests, really awesome textures and furniture, then this is the map for you. Going over to the next one. Actually, I have already covered this one in one of my previous videos, but this was one of my best Maze Runner maps. And I was like, okay, I definitely have to put this map in top 20 most fun creative list. So like you can tell, it's a huge Maze Run with bounce pads, jump pads, traps. It's up to 16 people. So each few can fight against each other and whoever wins that wins. So if you're in that type of whole Maze Run things and whatever, this is definitely a really huge map in which I had a lot of fun. Taking a look at the next one, this is something similar to the first featured map that we ever had in the first week of Fortnite Creative. This map is basically like a free-for-all with snipers. It has a bunch of bounce pads, jump pads and that type of thing. So mainly these maps are made for amazing no scopes or one we wanting each other. So if you want to get some awesome clips, trick shotting each other or want to fight against your friends or whatever, up to four people then this is definitely the map for that going over to the next one it's a basically like a simple parkour with unique furniture most of the time you'll not know where the next level is so i guess it adds an element with an escape room in my opinion really simple and really easy so if you don't like parkours or you think they're too hard this is definitely one of the easiest parkours i have ever completed but the fun part is that not only it's simple and with a good texture, but it's big enough and with a bunch of levels and different difficulties. So I guess it's the best training ground map for the harder ones. Take a look at the next one. It's basically almost the same thing as the previous map that I just covered, but timer has been added. So 15 minutes on the clock. And of course, whenever you take a look, it's a bit more different and with the type of winter look. Not only it's again really simple and easy parkour map, but this one is about 70% escape room and 30% parkour room. But whenever I was taking a look at the previous map, it was about 50 to 50. So still, again, if you want an easy parkour map with really good textures and the caves using bounce pads, jump pads, traps and whatever, this is an awesome map for that. Taking a look at the next one, this is an escape free for all with a bunch of zombies and enemies. Okay, so it's up to four people. One guy is the survivor or aka the last man standing and three of you aka the zombies are trying to kill the last guy standing. Each of you will get about five to ten minutes and you can take turns. It's a huge abandoned map with a bunch of chests, weapons and that type of thing. 
The main objective, like I said, is for the last guy standing to survive and for you three guys zombies try to kill him. Going over to the next one, this one is another hide and seek aka a searching map. So whenever I'm saying hide and seek map, there's one seeker and again each of you will try to hide in this huge kingdom, castle and bunch of towers. But of course, the most interesting thing that this map is not only hide and seek, but as well an a searching map. So basically there are a bunch of secret passageways, secret places to hide in, things you can find out to survive longer and things that you can find and stay longer hidden and a bunch of more things which you will be able to kill while you're hiding. So going over to one of the last maps, this one is a bounce pad sniper free for all. If you didn't like the previous free for all, this one is even with more bounce pads, more jump pads and other stuff. So like you can tell, it's a bit more hardcore. In Fortnite, you cannot really like scope while you're jumping. So adding a bit more harder element and just going for no scopes. If you're struggling with no scopes, want a bunch of bounce pads and always be on the go on the fly. This is definitely a really good map for that and up to eight people as well. Going over to the next one, it's another hide and seek map. Hide and seek maps are really in demand and really popular, so here's another one. So the city itself is abundant and you can hide wherever you want. In this map you'll get a bush so you can blend in better with the trees, bushes and more things. Really fun map, awesomely created in my opinion with really unique design. So with that we have come to the last map which is a secret party search. So let me explain what do I mean by this. It's a huge map with a bunch of trees and a huge house which will be like an escape aka a maze. Sadly it's only a single player map and all you need to do is go in the house and reveal the secrets. There will be a huge maze, a bit of parkour as well, a bunch of death rooms and secret things that you'll need to discover, get keys so you can go to the next room, find out as much as you can and in general just have some fun. But with that said, I really appreciate it for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Like per usual guys, comment in comment section down below the next video idea, top 10 list or maybe your own map codes that you want to share. So comment all those things down below. Click like on this video if you enjoyed it. And of course, don't forget to click subscribe to keep up to date with every video that I make, which is every single day. If you're interested in more top 10 hardest parkour lists, easiest parkour lists, escape rooms, top 20 more lists of the most fun maps and other stuff all those things are under my channel so check those things out hope you enjoyed it my name is Kate signing out have a good day see you tomorrow peace Yo, I ain't here for the money I ain't here for the fame though it might be nice to own a jet plane I'ma do it all for you come along and see it's true but the world